Hello, I'm Sally, I'm from Plush Folly, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a range of cosmetics from home. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make soap using the hot process method. The beauty of the hot process method is that the soap is pretty much ready to use the next day. We're going to be using caustic soda and tap water to make off the first part of our soap, which is called our lye. Just to make sure I don't get burnt by any splashes, I'm going to put on my rubber gloves to protect my hands. And although I wear glasses, I'm going to put on a pair of rather lovely goggles to make sure that I don't get splashed around the eye area. That's the safety element, now we're ready to go. The first thing I'm going to do is to weigh my water. The reason that we weigh it is that one mole of water is equal to one gram of water and we can be far more accurate by weighing than we can by trying to use the scale at the jug. Now I need 176 grams. Okay, there's my 176 grams of water. And now I'm going to measure my lye, my sodium hydroxide. Here we are, exactly 70. Just going to pop that one out of the way with the lid firmly on. Okay, here comes the fun bit. This is cold water, but the sodium hydroxide is going to heat it up and create a few fumes in the process. So I always suggest that you do this in a well-ventilated room and don't stand over the jug and breathe in the fumes. It's not a pleasant experience. I'm stirring it just to make sure it's fully dissolved into the water. And when I can't feel any crunchiness at the bottom of the jug, I know that I have created my lye solution. You might be able to see some steam rising there. Now that shouldn't be a scary process at all if you do it properly. That's now ready to put to one side to cool down while I get the rest of my ingredients ready. The next stage in our process is to get our lovely oils into our saucepan melted. The oils I've chosen for you here are coconut oil, lovely and moisturising, and coconut oil will give a big, rich lather. And we all want nice, bubbly soap. 128 grams of coconut oil into our saucepan, followed by palm oil. Palm oil adds that lovely waxy texture to your soap and creates quite a hard bar. I think soap with palm oil is a real superior soap. Our palm oil weighs 85 grams. And then finally, for this part, my favorite ingredient, shea butter. I'm only putting in a small amount of shea butter because that's all you need for a really rich moisturizing soap. So whilst you're washing, the shea butter is going to be moisturizing your skin. That's 30 grams of shea butter all in our saucepan. Now we're just going to get these melted and then we can move on to the next stage. Hey, that didn't take long, just a couple of minutes to get all the uh, oils melted. The reason that I don't add olive oil into the saucepan at the beginning is that the olive oil is going to bring the temperature of our melted oils down. Here's my lye, here are my oils. Let's combine the two. I start just by adding it slowly to make sure there's no adverse reaction in there, no fizzing. All looks fine, so I'm putting all my lye into the saucepan. And then carefully, because it is still caustic at this stage, give it a stir. Now, dependent on the temperature of the room, the temperature of the oils and the temperature of the lye, to get to the next stage, it could take anything up to, well, three days really. But we are going to speed that process up. Instead of me manually stirring, I'm going to use a handheld blender. I'm going to turn it down so we start nice and gently. I think this is just about ready. It's now looking remarkably like custard, so I would say that's perfectly ready to cook. What I'm going to do is pop that back onto the cooker, a nice low heat, and then just leave it, stirring it every five minutes or so for probably about anything between 20 and 40 minutes. So I've been 
cooking and stirring every so often our hot process soap for about 15 to 20 minutes. Different oils take different times to get to this stage, but this is absolutely ready. And I've measured out here 14 grams of rose geranium essential oil that I'm going to add to my soap mixture. Pour it in and give it a good stir around. So I think that soap is now ready for me to put into the mould. I've chosen a little tray mould here. That now needs to sit somewhere to cool down, but that would be fine for me to cut up into soap bars and use in my bath tomorrow evening. So this hot process soap has been in the mould now for three hours. You can see it's nice and hard and I think it's ready to be taken out of the mould and cut into slices. Yes, there we are, one beautiful block. This soap will be ready to use in my shower or bath tonight. And that's how easy it is to make hot process soap.